So tonight, a repeat race to the White House. Nikki Haley dropping out of the Republican race today, suspending her campaign. That still allows her, though, to control those 89 delegates she earned and the money she raised during her campaign. But how will all this impact Georgia's primary? Hallie Turner following today's developments live in our newsroom. Hallie. Yeah, you'll see Nikki Haley's name on the ballot and her campaign may be over. But one political expert says now it's a race to win over her supporters. In this campaign, I have seen our country's greatness from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, America. God bless you. Nikki Haley suspends her campaign for president. And now political expert Dr. Charles Bullock says many are wondering what's next for her. A lot of people believe maybe uh, thinking about 2028, which is going to be an open seat regardless of whether Trump or Biden win. She may be very well positioned. She has campaigned across the country, so she has a network of supporters, both those who give her money, but also people who would show up and work for her. So what's next for her supporters? She appeals to a kind of voter who is, is not going to be wearing a red MAGA hat. She gave it her best shot as an alternative to Donald Trump, and there are Many voters uh, do not look forward to a Trump candidacy. Haley says it's up to former President Trump to win over her supporters. It is now up to Donald Trump to earn the votes of those in our party and beyond it who did not support him. At its best, politics is about bringing people into your cause, not turning them away. And our conservative cause badly needs more people. All of it leaves voters with another round of Biden versus Trump. But Dr. Bullock says it will all come down to which candidate will do well among the independent voters. She was also focusing on those independent voters and say Trump or Biden is going to need to do relatively well with those independent voters to get to a majority. Hallie Turner reporting for us there. It'll be interesting to see the turnout for this race. South Carolina, remember, had a huge turnout for Trump with Hallie, Haley still uh, in it. Early voting is happening now in Georgia. We have those details on the website for you.